Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. I want to start this vlog today with a little hair update. Um, I'm very excited about this because it's been so long since I've highlighted or done anything to my hair. The last time I did anything color-wise was back in June of last year, so like a few weeks before our wedding. So it's been like 10 months or so, which is crazy. I, I've never gone that long. So yeah, it feels really nice. We touched up the highlights, as you can see here. And also we brought the, the color like much higher up on my head. But I was asking Mo to just be careful with my scalp because I didn't want too many of the colors and the chemicals to actually get on my scalp. So we just did some highlights and feels really nice they're mostly like underneath and actually we colored my hair twice this time so I'll pop in a little video here and a picture where you can see where my hair was a lot blonder actually also the video that I posted before this which was my first trimester recap there my hair was a lot blonder as well I did like it and it felt really fresh and like very nice for spring but it was just a bit too much for me like right here in the front so we just toned this down a little bit with toner so that made it a little bit uh, darker and then this also got toned down a little bit as well so it's a little bit more cool toned but all of this is going to brighten up as I wash my hair over the next few weeks so it's gonna get lighter and lighter but hopefully it's gonna stay somewhere between this and the clips that I just showed you so that kind of like blonde very sun-kissed like balayage kind of look so yeah, that's an update on my hair. I know a lot of you guys were asking on my Instagram if I could talk a little bit more about it, but this is what it looks like. I put some curls in it so you could see the nuances a little bit better, but it's very pretty. Mo did a really good job. I'm wearing this super cute lounge set today from Fabletics. This has actually been one of my go-to like loungy looks for wearing at home. I just put a little sweater on top of this. It's so cute and so like flattering. I know that it's a, a sweat set, but I feel really put together in this. I think because the top is so nice and like fitted. It's also super comfortable and the fabric is really nice and like very buttery. And I love the little thin straps and this wider waistband here. And you guys probably know I love their sweatpants. They are so nice and flattering. And they're of course very bump friendly. <laughs> this is my bump today. So they will just like grow really nicely with my belly. And I have been getting these in a medium since I found out I was pregnant. So all of my recent Fabletics bottoms have been in a size medium. I would get a small before, and then the tops I still get in a small. And Fabletics are actually working with me on today's video, so I have a few other pieces to show you guys that are so cute. And as always, I'll make sure to have everything listed and linked for you guys down below in the description box. Okay, here is the next set that I got from Fabletics. I'm also really, really loving this look. These leggings are actually one of my favorite designs of leggings I've seen in a really long time. In terms of the print, I love that swirly detail. How beautiful is that? And the color is so nice as well. I love the dark blue with the matching top as well. And then I just paired it with this beautiful uh, pop of blue. This is a crew neck, really comfy and a beautiful fabric as well. And I really love this with the gold as well. I feel like blue and gold always go so nicely together. And the leggings are also really great quality. They are high-waisted, really great and supportive fit. And the um, top is a nice like stretchy cotton, really nice for working out or running errands or like if you wanna go to lunch after going to Pilates or a yoga class or something like that. I think this is such a cute look. And again, I'm just, so obsessed with the print the swirly print it's so so beautiful here is another really fun set for spring i love the soft purple it's like a soft lilac it's so pretty and again i think so nice for spring i love the high waistband it feels nice and supportive especially with 
my little bump <laughs> and the pockets on the side are super cute as well really great and like practical if you're at the gym you just want to put your phone in or if you're going for a walk you don't want to take your whole bag that is always very practical and then the matching bra as well so flattering i love the design of it and the back is also super pretty nice little cutout okay and then lastly this really classic black set these leggings are another favorite i don't remember the exact name of these but of course i'll have everything listed for you down below but they are literally so comfortable i love the little pocket here on the side as well and the fit is so nice like the fabric is very stretchy but still supportive they're not too rigid so they're really comfy to wear like all day long they're supportive around the bump but they're not too tight which i really like and again the thing with the back you see like it doesn't stick out at all they really just hug you in all the right places and i love it the crossing on the bra is really cute too and this is actually one of my favorite bras that phyletics makes it's the oasis front twist bra i believe so flattering <laughs> like this is all the bra <laughs> it is really beautiful and just makes you feel like nice and supportive but you know beautiful very feminine super pretty and just a great classic black set to have in your wardrobe for working out running errands you could put a jacket on top of this wear it with sneakers or again just like little white tennis shoes a really nice versatile look which I love if you guys want to try out any of their items they are currently offering 80 percent off everything on the site for new vip members or you can get 12 dollar bottoms when you buy two and if you guys are not familiar with the phabletics vip program it's completely free there are no additional costs to sign up and then each month you can either shop for 49.95 or you can skip the month entirely and they're always offering their vips really great deals you can get access to their phabletics fit app for free you can get first access to their new launches and they're just always offering really great deals and discounts for their vips so if you love workout clothes and loungewear like me then definitely check them out i will have a link for their website down below in the description box along with a list of all of the items that i tried on along with my size as well all of the information will be down below in the description box i'm gonna make this salmon for lunch today i actually took this out to have it for dinner but we decided that we're gonna go out for dinner tonight so i'm just gonna make this for lunch and i'm actually very excited to eat this salmon is like cooked salmon it's really great for pregnant women if it's cooked like you don't want to eat raw salmon but it's a great source of dha and good healthy fatty acids for the development of the baby and the baby's brain so i love me some salmon and this is my favorite go-to recipe if you guys have been with me for some time i'm sure you've seen this recipe before it is just such a classic i make it several times per week and it's really easy to do i think it's good to have like you know just go to quick recipes that you can rely on so i just drizzle on some olive oil some tamari sauce this is garlic powder onion powder and oregano. And then I do a little salt and pepper too. And then this just goes into the oven for 20 minutes. I put a timer on my phone and it's really quick. It's delicious. You can have it over salads with rice, potatoes, roasted vegetables. It's so versatile and so, so good. I'm also steaming up some asparagus. I just got these yesterday and they looked so good. I love asparagus just steamed or lightly roasted. So I'm gonna have that with the salmon as well and then just like toss something else together. <laughs> Okay, my lunch is ready. I've got the salmon, asparagus, and then I just cut up some cucumbers and tomatoes on the side with a little avocado, a drizzle of balsamic glaze, which I'm loving over basically every salad right now. So yeah, this is my lunch, part one. <laughs> I always have a snack afterwards.
just did a massive closet clean out and I went through every single thing that I own <laughs> and just decided to really try to minimize and donate the things that I was just no longer reaching for so that I can really make room for just what I'm excited to wear and what inspires me and also of course my body is changing <laughs> so there are a lot of like bottoms and things that I'm not really wearing for that were kind of just taking space in my closet so I've decided to fold them these are all like the smaller jeans and pants and things that I can't really wear right now the last thing that I want to do right now is be uncomfortable and feel like things are tight and just not you know fitting me properly so I just put all of these away and now I have so much more room in my pant closet for things that actually fit me and I love 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 having fewer things but things that I really really like and it just gets me excited to go through my things and also be able to you know donate or give to friends and just keep more of like a minimal and curated selection of things so these are my joggers that I wear pretty often these all fit me very comfortably and I think they're gonna fit me throughout most of my pregnancy if I wear them like under the bump as well and here I've got some sweaters and turtlenecks some knits these are the ones that I really like to wear with um, dresses so I had that whole nice section here these are like a little bit chunkier knits um, really really love these I've got a picture of our little bubs here <laughs> so cute i just i love looking at this when i'm getting dressed and then below here i've got like a nice open space if i need to put something like as i'm getting ready i've got some fragrances there which i'm not really using at all at the moment but i do really like this um tray that they're on this is from Zara home love this so so much here i've got my yoga towels or pilates towels workout towels i put these always on my yoga mat and it keeps the yoga mat clean and um it keeps me clean <laughs> because i can just easily wash these in the washing machine and i just feel like a lot fresher every time i work out on one of these and then i don't have to clean the actual mat here i've got my weights for my pilates these are my one pound Bala bangles, I've got a resistance band. This is all underwear. This is like pajamas and comfy clothes, all my workout clothes in that one. And then this is like miscellaneous little things. I do still have all of my spring and summer things that I want to put in my closet, which I'll probably do in the next few weeks, which I'm very excited about. And I do that again because I just love like a smaller but more practical and functional selection of things that I can choose from because I feel like I wear my clothes more when I have less things and when I can see things, you know? And where we live is very seasonal, so like there's no way that I can wear my summer things in winter and vice versa shortness of breath is also something that i have noticed since like probably like the first few weeks of my pregnancy and i know that that's something that usually just comes later on in pregnancy but i feel it they say that that's because like now you have so much more blood and oxygen flow going to the baby and to your placenta and all of that so it kind of takes away sometimes from your own breath and when i feel like i'm talking a lot <sighs> i feel it anyway also one thing going back to this closet as an example I think it makes such a difference in just how you hang and display your clothes and like where you place your clothes. So I periodically like to completely switch up like where I'm hanging certain things because it makes my wardrobe feel new. <laughs> Before I had all of my jackets and sweaters here and all of my tops like, you know, under tops up there but now i've switched it so these are more like i call them like my specialty tops these are a bit more like not so basic and everyday and then here i've put all of my simple everyday pieces that are great staples basics that i can pair lots of different ways so i've got all of my tops these are like all my black tops then it goes into a little bit of color and then lots of whites and 
creams and this way I can see everything that I have and for a time I actually used to fold all of these things but it was so hard to see what I had and like when I was getting dressed like this is just so much more easy to find things and then here I've put all of my sweaters and hoodies and jackets that I wear more like on a daily basis so I really like this and it just makes my closet feel like new and fresh and more inspiring and I do the same thing with my dresses and that just makes me more inspired to actually wear all of my clothes or more of my clothes because I feel like we all kind of have like the few outfits that we reach for and then the rest of the like 60 to 70 percent of clothes we don't really wear so I feel like doing this little change up it just inspires me to wear more of my clothes I feel like I've gone shopping without even going shopping if you know what I mean and also just cleaning out like the board and giving everything like a good uh, freshening up I feel like that goes a really long way as well this is eventually going to become the baby's room which is so exciting we are going to be moving these closets out our long-term goal is to eventually buy something that has more space like this apartment we love it so much but ideally we would just need one more room on top of what we already have so we could have like still like a wardrobe area an office and a baby room and of course like our bedroom so yeah that is hopefully something that is to come in the future but i'm so excited to just like work with what we have for now and i think it's going to be really really cute and yeah we're just going to make the most of it anyway i am in bed right now i've put on my cozy robe it is a saturday today and i always love to do either on a saturday or on a sunday to just have a full afternoon where i literally do nothing nothing at all <laughs> and it's the best thing ever so i'll get ready kind of like get ready for bed just get really cozy i'll get into bed and either i'll watch something whether that is catching up on youtube or something on netflix or i'll read or sometimes i'll catch up with my family on the phone it just really depends what i want to do but i think it's so important for me and just like generally speaking to take a day or an afternoon where you literally do nothing like not feeling the need to be productive to do anything just like if you can for a few hours like that is my oh i love it i love it and i crave it every single week i think it's really important to take that time to recharge so that you can give your all during the week and to have that good balance so that might look totally different to you maybe you enjoy doing something else like painting or dancing or some other kind of like self-care activity but for me i really love to just take like a few hours in the afternoon either on a saturday or a sunday like around one ish or like one two o'clock like i still do a little bit of stuff in the morning like i'll do my workout or my walk and a little bit of work i usually upload on sundays as well so i'll do all of that and then i'll take a shower I'll get in my cozy robe i'll lay right here in our bed and i will just chill and feel so good about it so that is what i'm gonna do right now and then later i'm going to make us some dinner i'm gonna do a veggie beef stew kind of like a soup with lots of vegetables and i'm gonna make a pretty big portion of it so that we can have some for tomorrow and then if we have a lot left over i might freeze some for the week
since the soup was cooking, I decided to make some banana oat chocolate chip cookies. These are so easy to make. You just need two ripe bananas, about a cup and a half of oats, and then some chocolate chips. You can also customize them by putting in some cinnamon or vanilla or anything like that, but the base is super easy. And then I dipped half of them in some shredded coconut, which you can see here. Just bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes and they are delicious. And the soup was so, so good too. We really enjoyed this. Just full of vegetables and really hearty and it tasted amazing. Again, I'll have the recipe for it down below in the description box. And our cookies are done. Obviously these are much more golden because these have the coconut on them, but these also smell so, so good and so easy and simple to make. Mm -hmm. 